This is breaking news from the Las Vegas Review Journal, sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino and Spa. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jen Ah, coming to you from the Review Journal studio. And I'm James Schaefer, developing tonight a series of stabbings in the Las Vegas Strip that Nevada officials are calling senseless. Our crews are out tracking down law enforcement, witnesses, and elected leaders. All to find out what led up to this shocking incident in broad daylight. Now, here's the timeline. Police say they first received reports of a stabbing on Las Vegas Boulevard South at around 1140 this morning, and that the stabbing had turned deadly. Thankfully, the suspect of these stabbings is in custody tonight, and the victims were quickly taken to the nearest hospitals. A number of witnesses took these videos you see here on their phones. They were mostly tourists, and they were visibly shaken, describing to us the violent scene that happened before their very eyes on their trip to Vegas. A witness telling us he saw two women dressed as showgirls in red dresses being chased by a knife-wielding man. One of the women slipped on her heel near an escalator to a pedestrian bridge, then fell to the ground in front of Wynn, Las Vegas. The witnesses say they saw both of them get stabbed. And then everything happened so fast. Uh, you saw like two, like, hey, like you said, two girls on the ground, and then maybe a hundred uh, feet away, it was uh, someone else on the ground. So everything happened really fast. If you normally drive around this area, you may have noticed several road closures this afternoon on Las Vegas Boulevard South, around Wynn Las Vegas and the Fashion Show Mall. Then, later in the afternoon at around 3, Las Vegas police provided us an update on how they were able to so quickly capture the suspect with the knife. They say the male suspect was not provoked and with no altercation beforehand, he started stabbing people while running along the sidewalks on the strip. This aerial video shows the man described as in his early 30s running down Las Vegas Boulevard toward Sands Boulevard. The initial altercation or the initial um, stabbing occurs uh, on the sidewalk area. It appears unprovoked. There is no altercation beforehand. Uh, it, that stabbing occurs quickly and then the su suspect subsequently uh, goes southbound on the sidewalk area and stabs additional victims. The victims included both locals and tourists. Now as for the suspect, they say the man was not a resident of Las Vegas and he was rather quickly detained by San security guards. Witnesses say the suspect didn't say anything while on his unprovoked stabbing spree, but the witnesses mentioned seeing the suspect pierce a man and woman with his knife after he was finished with the women dressed as showgirls. Police also described a large kitchen knife found at the scene. Now we also have a slew of pictures from our crews of the University Medical Center's trauma department. Now you can see people embracing outside the hospital and a number of ambulances and police vehicles. UMC spokesperson confirming several people were taken to the hospital and at least one died. Another critically wounded and two others in serious condition. And on social media, local politicians posted their thoughts on what had happened. Congresswoman Dina Titus posting, Our tourists must feel safe when they visit Las Vegas. And Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak echoing her statement, writing he wants to make sure the Strip is welcoming and safe for visitors. At the state level, we will continue to work with partners in law enforcement to make resources available on the ground and ensure the Las Vegas Strip remains a safe and welcoming place for all to visit. Attorney General Aaron Ford thanked first responders for their work, posting, The entire Office of the Attorney General are appalled by today's tragedy and are thinking of the victims and their families. You can expect more updates periodically in the coming days. Just go to the Review Journal's website, lvrj.com. Thank you for joining us on this in-depth coverage of the deadly stabbing on the Las Vegas Strip. We'll see you again tomorrow morning for 7 at 7. Have a good night and stay safe. You've been watching breaking news from the Las Vegas Review-Journal, sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino and Spa.